here we go. So, day two, actually, this is day three, um, and I'm here again with my gas station cars, gas station trucks. Sometime I get ahead of what I want to say. First thing I'm going to say is hello to everybody out there. Hello to my subscription family. I want to take time to say hi to the troops. We love you. Doctors, nurses, firefighters, policemen, and all those who answer the call. Uh, we appreciate what you do. Uh, this is one of the greatest countries in the world, and this truly is uh, worth fighting for. All right. So, um, I'm not getting as many responses to these gas station trucks as I thought. And I told you in the beginning that uh, they're in a, a zone all their own. They're not, they're not the, the heavyweights like the die casts are. But um, for guys like me who waited around year after year after year waiting for uh, the new vehicle to come out, um, I'm not going to lie. I mean, uh, there was a bit of excitement, you know, till you get it, you get it out of the box, you put it away. And, and it's like a switch. You just almost, you almost flip it off. Uh, just kind of forget about it. And um, diecast vehicles, that's another world. That, that's a whole nother zone. They're in their own spot. And, um, and I get that. I do. I've been, I'm 71 and, you know, I can understand uh, the, the, the reality of the two worlds. Um, although, uh, when I came down, when I came down to uh, get set up, I had uh, checked my phone for um, messages and I could not believe that I got, if I can get this to spread out just enough so that you can see it, but let me cut this light off. No, I can see it's not coming through. So it's in, it's, it's in Ukraine. I got three thumbs up. Uh, it's just a few words, but because the, the writing's uh, Russian, I don't, under, I don't understand what, he's, what they're saying. Uh, but I, I want to say this um, to, to, all the, to all the horror and the tragedy that's going, in, going on in Ukraine right now, and um, the fact that you're, you're trying to be exterminated off the face of the earth by another country, um, is one of the most horrible things uh, that any country can face. And for you to take time to send me some sort of message, if you by any chance uh, were uplifted by me showing you some models, then um, uh, God bless you and God bless your family. And I, I hope that wherever you are, Ukraine or wherever you may be at right now, uh, I wish you all the luck in the world, uh, God's honest truth. So um, thank you for the words. Uh, eventually I'll try and get it translated, um, but uh, that's from the heart, my friend. Okay, so getting back to the gas station cars. Um, I took all the Sunokos out of my case except for two. And, you know, I got this sofa back here. You've seen the eagle pillows and stuff laying on it. So it's going to be easier for me to grab them and pull them up. Um, and the other thing is that uh, I got so carried away the other day of doing the Gettys, I actually missed two up there because I thought they were um, a, a different brand. And I happened to look up today. And uh, well, actually, Bob, uh, last night when I was putting uh, models back. So I'll show those to you. Uh, one's carrying a race car and one's got crushed cars on it. I, I don't know what the years are, but the, 
I told you I thought I had a few more than that. The reason why I put these models up high is because the die cast cars require uh, a, a lot more care. Uh, I pick them up a lot more. Uh, we rearrange them a lot more. And all these gas station vehicles, I have them. You can see them. But um, I just I just don't. Uh, I mean, when I have to and they get too dusty, I, I take care of them. But um, that's why they're up high. So I miss the Gettys. Um, moving on. I talked about, uh, the other day, I talked about what uh, uh, Hess executives or any of these oil companies, when they get these trucks, uh, they have two different kinds. They have the kind that we get, the, the, uh, the public, and then they have the executive kind. Now, over here, over here, although this is Exxon, it, it is the same vehicle, but if you was to get this Exxon uh, at the time that it was released in 90, 1999, you'll notice that it has gold writing. You have the Exxon Tiger is gold. Uh, there's gold writing on the boom. Uh, the best way to get there. Uh, Exxon Oil Company, and so this would have been one that executives would have got because uh, all the Exxons I got are kind of gray and red uh, are, are their colors. So um, th this would have been one that um, would have been released to executives. I only have uh, this one. I don't have any of the, uh, I've seen them in pictures. But uh, I, this is the only one I've uh, actually ever got my hands on. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what the big deal is about them, why they felt like they, uh, you know, they couldn't put them out for the public. But um, that's what they did. So, nevertheless, I'm going to set this one down. And um, although I didn't really want to start with this, this is 96. It's the same as that truck. Funny thing about these trucks, um, I'm going to pull up this. This is, I'm going to move this. Uh, oh, by the way, okay, let me, so the, the plow goes up and down, and the boom goes up and down. Uh, the lights do blink when you have a battery in it. This has lights and sounds. It has two buttons on it. And this is 1996, so I'm jumping out of order a little bit. Um, in the beginning... Uh, except for Hess, uh, and I can look up and contest this. I've got BP, uh, Amoco, Texaco, Sunoco, and I don't see it in mobile. They were all the same truck the same year, 1994. So, uh, not passing judgment, I guess that's... Uh, when uh, these companies decided that they wanted to start putting vehicles out. So, um, uh, yeah, so uh, they're all the same. It's the same truck, just their paint colors and uh, uh, their logos are on them. But um, there's no frills. I kind of call it no frills. Uh, I guess kids got a kick out of it. Um, I don't even remember when I started collecting Sunoco because I collected back to 94. I had started buying some of the newer ones. Um, and of course, Sunoco, uh, which is still around, but they gave up on uh, the gas station vehicles. And we'll figure out what year that is when I show you the last one. So that's, that's 1994. And this is 95, fire engine. Uh, very similar to the Getty one that I showed you uh, last night. Uh, this has lights and sound too. Um, it has the uh, uh, truck supports that uh, pop out uh, here, here, and here. Um, not a whole lot to see, but it, but it is a nice truck. Just. Um, it is what it is, you know, it's, it's, it, that, that's the best way to put that. It is what it is. Now, the next trucks I'm going to bring up 
Um, if I had my book here, which I don't, I finally put that book up. Um, but this tanker and this tanker came out the same year. This is 1998. I'm positive that, yeah, they did. 1998. So both of these tankers came out in 1998. Virtually the same, except for one thing. Uh, this is chrome and it has diesel on it. And this is regular, the regular Sunoco truck with regular fuel. This one was, was worth... Uh, well, I believe in the book it was worth a hundred dollars back in '97. This, this had low numbers, um, and I, I do know uh, guys were seeking this out. I walked into a gas station to get gas. I had looked a long time for this. A guy had it in the box up there, one of these little gas and goes, and I said, "Are you selling gas?" He said, "Yeah, we." That's just just one left over. I said, well, what do you want for it? He said, well, it's, I think it went in 1995 or something like that. He had no idea. And uh, so I got this pretty, pretty slick. I mean, I'm being honest, okay. So anyway, both trucks came out the same year. This is the money truck right here. A lot of guys want this, didn't get it. So uh, very low numbers. I don't, I don't know how many, how many were put out. I don't have the book. Uh, it's colorful. Um, uh, they got the caution tape on it. Uh, they've got red, white, and blue. Uh, red, red, white, and blue here over the uh, different grades of gas. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool when it's lit up also. So Now, as opposed to Hess, and my mobiles are pretty cool, but Sunoco really tried to give Hess a run for their money. Now, this vehicle I'm bringing out now, uh, this has a bunch of little stuff that came with it. It had some uh, some racing flags. Uh, if you can see that. Then we have some of the gas you fill, fill up uh, for the races. Uh, so this here has spare tires up here. You've got uh, 55 gallon oil drums here. Uh, they're probably fuel. They just say Sunoco, but it's, I'm, I'm willing to bet it's fuel. You've got the, the dragster here and there's a, a launch right here. So uh, you hook this in back there and uh, you press the button and it'll, it'll launch it off. It does have a, uh, 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 I forget what you call it, for uh, a ramp for, uh, for it to drive up on. And um, uh, this has one button that I can see. So yeah, this is all, all lights. Uh, on my, my bag, it does have sound, two buttons. So this has uh, two buttons. So the race car, And it has the spare tires here. Now, another thing Sunoco did. One second, guys. Oh, my mouth is dry. So, one thing, some of the things that Sunoco did was they would come out with the Christmas truck. Because they came out at Christmas time, too. And then they made accessory vehicles that you could get. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we've got... So we have this tractor trailer here, which would carry these work trucks. And it's going to want to roll away, so I got to hold it. And uh, the, the, I, yeah, this this does turn. It has a Sunoco label on it, and the dump truck dumps. But then you could you had to buy these separate, 
And if I remember correctly, they were only $9.99. So you, you got a sort of bobcat and a front end loader. Actually, two front end loaders, if you want to call it that. Um, and that was separate. And that was separate. So that's how uh, this came. First, you got the car. And um, usually they would show up at the store either at the same time. Usually, like a week later, you come back by and they, I don't know, I guess uh, it was just the way they did it. And then uh, you would go in and see these and pick them up. And I'm going through these. I would like to tell you the years on these. So this was 2002 when this came out. And um, the race car was 2000. So that means uh, 2001 is somewhere in here. Um, let me get... I think these are 1990-something. This is 1999 car carrier. Uh, it has a Sunoco race car with 94 octane written on it. It only came with the one car. Um, I'm almost willing to bet that this carrier is the same for the Luke and the Getty one that I have up there. Um, it, it, off, it looks awful close. It only came with one car, but uh, they never came out with any other cars to put in it. So, um, uh, I, I'm not sure if you could match anything up. Uh, maybe 143 might come close to this and sit up on here. Um, these trucks are more in, more in the scale range of about 125, I would say. So, um, anyway. Uh, this this was all by itself, and uh, well, let's just see the front of it. And uh, does this have lights and sound? Yeah, this this one had lights and sounds too. So it's pretty nice. It says GT Racing, 100 octane full Sunoco. The back opens like I said. You can put more vehicles in here if you want. I think this might be a, a 1990. This is 97. I believe it has the same race car that I just showed you. It's been so long since I've. They just kind of stay in the case. But I believe it is the same car, just the wheels are a different color. Again, 94 octane. And uh, this is yellow, and the other car had red. Uh, it's been ages uh, since I've pulled these out. I keep them in the case, so um, I'm remembering these again <laughs> as I'm showing them to you. So um, I can't get over that Ukraine thing. A, a guy could actually take time to do that in the middle of, uh, of, of holy hell. I mean, my gracious. Um, I hope I could put a smile on that guy's face. Uh, so again, this is uh, 1997. Even before I get to the motorcycle, maybe I'll do that next. Now these motorcycles were sold uh, uh, individually after the truck came out. Um, a couple of them are the same, no, everyone's got, yeah, these two are the same. So I've got this one and this one are the same. Uh, this one's different and this one's different. I guess you guys can see that. Um, so I'm gonna pick them up and show you. Uh, they have uh, the Snoko logos on the gas tank and on the back, um, you know, they go with the, the Christmas truck. Also, it has uh, Orange County Chopper. Uh, it has Orange County Chopper logo on the seats. So that means uh, they were involved with Sunoco with putting these out. Yeah, all these have Orange County. I'll bring this out, I'm jumping the gun, but 
since I had them there. Now, I've never taken this motorcycle off the truck. Just let me make a little room for it. Squeeze it here. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll just set them down here. So we have, uh, I see Richard Petty. Uh, and there's Dale Earnhardt Jr. Um, I'm, I, I'm admit I'm not big on NASCAR, so by by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but uh, this is 19. Uh, this excuse me. This is a uh, year 206, 2006. Um, it, it has the ramp that pulls out. And uh, it does do lights and sound. These, these, when these light up, the Sunokos were pretty cool. Um, uh, they make a pretty good showing. Um, there's, there's a lot of guys on there. And um, maybe you can recognize some. I'm going to throw a light on there. Maybe that will help you see them a little bit. I'm not sure how well that's coming out. I'll move that back a little. So this is 2006. Um, all right, here we go. So, and we have a car carrier here, and uh, uh, we've got we have, we've got all kinds of cool cars in there. Eh? It's been a while since I've seen this. Um, do they all stay? Um, I got to learn how to do this all over again. I'm sure I pulled them out once. So. Uh, Not sure. Okay, so this is a Dodge Viper. Uh, these are 164 scale. We have a uh, Corvette. We have a Corvette. And this is either a Jag. It is a Jag. I, I, I remember that body style. So we have a Jaguar here. And um, I'm not sure if that goes on the front two or the back two. I'll put it back in here though. Maybe. So we've got those in. I'm trying my best to pull, pull this out. So here we uh, here we have a uh, I'm not sure what body style that is, but anyway, that's European racing. We have a Porsche. Um, I've got one, but Steve McQueen drove that's very very similar to this, um, and Steve McQueen loved to drive Porsches. I believe this is I believe Steve McQueen actually drove uh, Porsches like this. So that's pretty cool. And like I said, I haven't looked at Sunoco in quite a while because, you know, like I, I keep saying, they're, they're, uh, they're gas station vehicles. And so uh, even uh, to all you guys that are looking right now, and maybe those that might be getting bored and want to go away, um, they are cool, you know. Um, and that, that's all I can say, that they are cool. Um, when I'm finally done, mobile will be the last, and then we're going to get back. I got some hot die cat stuff I want to show you. But um, I really wanted to uh, kind of just show these and, and, uh, and give you guys a chance to see them since I have them. Now, here's one where you race guys can look. And uh, you can pick out your favorite driver there. Um, it's the same on both sides. This is 2004. Uh, Victory Junction Gang. I don't know what that is. Um, and it looks like I didn't take a battery out. I see leakage. This is all discolored on the side. I'm not going to open this up right now, but I left, I left the batteries in, so that's why you take them out. Um, 
I'll work with it later. So I think these fold out. Oh my goodness, we got stuff in there. Um, I think both, are both sides are the same. Yeah, both sides are the same. So we have, we have the third car. I'm going to set this here so I can pick it up and show you the, the side. So here's the uh, picture that's there. And um, I'm just going to pop this back up in here. So Sonogo got a little creative. They weren't too bad off. And um, this has two buttons, so it has lights and sounds. Or it did have, it'll never have it again. Uh, I'll pull those out and clean it up with some baking soda. Let's see if I can stop the, uh, the acid from eating it. It's by the speaker too, so that's probably gone too. Um, I think I did the tanker, right? I believe we did the, t the tanker. Do I have Richard Petty? So I believe we did this one, 2005. Now here's a crazy one. Uh, so this is the circus. Actually, um, <laughs> I thought this was pretty cool. Um, my, my step-grandson, uh, when I bought this, I, I bought him for him. Uh, he was the right age to, uh, to play with this stuff. The top comes off. I, I know the top comes off. Yeah, there we go. So the top comes off. We've got an elephant, a uh, tiger, hippo, elephant, several. Uh, is that a zebra? we got a zebra in there. Uh, looks like a hyena too. And then I was getting gas and just like I said about a week later oh I know what I did. I took all the animals and put them in there. So each each one of these uh, they, they all get hooked up to the back of this like that and uh, each of these had an animal in it. No lights or nothing. Uh, it just says Safari on the back, and uh, the doors open. The, 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 where, where you see the writing, those are doors. They, they pop open. So, and um, so, uh, show you the front of the truck, uh, side of the truck, and we're done. This wasn't from the, this is actually die cast. It says Philadelphia on it. And um, if you guys saw the pictures when I said uh, this sweet old lady, uh, she had this with her Hot Wheels stuff. And when I saw Philadelphia on it, I had to have it. It is a bank. And it's not doing me any good. I never put a quarter in it. But um, anyway, it fits with the, uh, with the Sunoco, so I squeezed it in there, stuck it in there anyway. Uh, there's only two things left to show you guys. And um, they actually had, I believe they had, the third one they had was Dale Earnhardt. I dragged my feet. Uh, I probably didn't have the money. I don't know what these were going for. It might have been 1995. Never took them out of the box. There's the radio control. There's the car. And... Uh, Pop some batteries in this thing, and you're good to go. Never taking them out of the box. So we got Dale Earnhardt Jr. And um, Michael, can't quite make out his writing. Walt, maybe, maybe Walter, um, if that sounds familiar to you. Um, but I've never, never taken them out of the, the box. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I went a lot faster since I took them out of the case. 
Uh, I didn't want to try and bore you guys. Um, now I need a photogenic memory to put them all back in again. Uh, I did a little dusting. I'll have to do a little bit more. But um, that's it. So all we have left uh, in a big clump over here uh, are my mobile. So I thought I'd get behind the tablet. Um, I've got, I'm not going to take them out. Uh, we're, we're just going to peek at them the way they are in the cabinet. So uh, maybe if I can get all this back in, I, I'll do the other one. Uh, it's still early. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll do the other one um, tonight. But I appreciate um, the kind remarks. Um, I got one or two remarks, and you know who you are. Um, I said, yeah, I was right about them not being seen much. Um, so, I don't know what else I can say. Um, uh, everybody stay safe, be good. This is Chico. Peace out.